Hi guys, it's January 29, 2015. I don't know how I got on Newsmax's email list. I did. I don't even know anything about Newsmax. I have heard that several people don't believe that it's a credible news source. Please don't leave comments. I understand that. But this is not about Newsmax. It's about the information. And the information that I got from Newsmax today, the email that they sent, corresponds with other information that I've been reading in other articles and videos that I've been watching lately. Breaking. Putin's ultimate black swan could soon be unleashed on U.S. banking system. Details are beginning to emerge concerning Russia and China carrying out a possible attack on the U.S. banking system. With U.S. sanctions and falling oil prices successfully causing both the ruble and Russian economy to collapse, President Putin may soon begin escalating a covert series of black swan assaults on select financial institutions. His targets threaten to bankrupt millions of Americans and sources inside the U.S. intelligence community are concerned that the total damage could be in the trillions of dollars. In trillions of dollars. Okay, we know an economic collapse is coming. We know they need to stage an event to blame that collapse on. Will they blame it on World War III? Will they blame it on Putin hitting us with these black swan assaults? They may very well do that. But I want to um, uh, recommend a video of Gregory Manorino's that he posted today, Crisis Alert, U.S. Moves Closer to War with Russia. I do hope that you click on the link below and watch. I agree with a lot of Gregory Manorino's points. He, in this video, says, look, we are at war. It's not the traditional war. It's not with bullets flying past your face. It's not with bombs dropping, but we are at war. But those bullets that are going to be flying past your face and the bombs dropping, that's coming. That is absolutely coming. And I have said this, I'm on record as saying it, that I do believe that we have a communist takeover of the United States we have communists in our government. We've got communists in the Obama administration. We've got so many liberal progressive nut jobs who are communists, and they have been slowly transforming the United States, and not so slowly. Now it's rather rapid. Um, and do not be surprised if you wake up one morning and suddenly Russian troops are on U.S. soil. Do not think that World War III is not going to be on U.S. soil. It will be. And I would not be surprised if we do see Russian troops here and suddenly that's the official closing of the freest nation in the world and the starting of a communist takeover of that nation officially. Um, I, I, I still do not trust Putin. I don't trust Russia. I do believe that we're in cahoots with Russia. Um, but we're, we're, whatever is going on, things are escalating, increasing at a very rapid speed. It is head spinning. And yeah, I also agree with Gregory Manorino and his passion is something that resonates with me. Share the information is what he's saying. Wake up, people. Try your best to get the word out. That, you know, the collapse is coming, war is coming, and it is coming to U.S. soil. Do not think for a second, because we've been so privileged here for, you know, a whole long time. We haven't been the victims of ourselves. You know, we're not the Iraqis, we're not the Afghans who have to suffer the consequences of the bombs dropping. It's coming to us. And we definitely have domestic enemies in the United States government who are taking over. There, a coup has already happened. Now it's just, unfortunately, um, they're, they're just wrapping up all of their loose ends. But I also want to link to this article. Again, I've done videos on this. My old Kafka Winston World channel had videos on my um, 
take on what was happening, the communist takeover of America. And these are 45 declared goals that were read into the congressional record back in 1963 by a representative from Florida, Herlong. And these are the communist goals. And I'm not going to read them, but come over here and read these goals. And you tell me if they have not been achieved. They have been achieved. You know, the, the, war does not... It doesn't only look like bombs dropping. The communists have infiltrated every institution in this country. They've infiltrated the government and local state and federal government. They have infiltrated universities. They have infiltrated public school. Common Core is a communist curriculum. They've infiltrated the media. They have infiltrated all American institutions to weaken them and to promote their communist agenda. So I do hope that you come over here and read this and then come back and tell me what goals have not been met. Um, but, you know, I, I really do hope that you watch and subscribe to Gregory Manorino um, and Look, I don't believe that we can actually stop what is occurring, though I, and I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, if we do nothing, we will achieve nothing. We won't have a chance in hell. If we wake up more people and we start screaming and we start, you know, becoming more active, there's a chance. Do I really seriously think that we can prevent all of these events that will be taking place shortly? No, I don't. But do I think that it's really important to try to wake up more and more people? Yes, I do. Even if it's only to get them to protect themselves. We are looking at World War III. We are looking at economic collapse that is coming shortly. And we are absolutely now not living in the freest nation in the world. We are now living in what is essentially a communist nation. And you can, look, we also, it, it's kind of like the, the uh, ordering a poo-poo platter at a Chinese restaurant. Now they just have so many things going on. You know, we've got the global fascists who are transforming the world into a new world order, but it's a new world order that is going to be communism on steroids. Okay. Call me crazy if you want. That's just my take on what's happening. No, I do not trust Putin. I do not trust what is taking place. I do think that certainly with the Obama administration, I do think that we're, that we're working hand in hand to unleash this World War III, but to also unleash Russian soldiers on U.S. soil. Let me know what you think, please, because I do read all the comments. I may not have the energy to respond, but I absolutely read them and I consider everything that you have to say, except for those obscene comments that I remove.